Hello everyone, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome back to another live stream Let's Play episode. And today we have a brand new game on the channel. So this is Regalia of Men and Monarchs. Now, this is the PC version, it's not yet out on PS4 and PS Vita, but it is coming. But it released today on the 18th of May 2017, so I am playing this on the PC right now. I have quite a few copies because I supported it on Kickstarter way back when it was first announced and I'm going to end up with a PS4 code at some point, which I will most likely do a giveaway of through my Patreon only. So yes, um, but anyway, for those of you watching this on YouTube, don't forget this was streamed, so I will be interacting with my chat as always. So let's go ahead and jump into a new game, but I will just quickly show you guys the settings. So pretty basic settings really. I've obviously altered the volume and stuff so that you guys can hear me a-okay. But otherwise, let's start a new game. And it does have voice acting, guys. Yes! <laughs> I love it when games have VA. Oh, and if you haven't seen my unboxing video of this game, then make sure you do check it out because it's a really nice addition, guys. It's got like a map, a coin, art books and things like that. It's really lovely. Right, so there's different modes here, so let's have a look. Normal mode offers a challenging gameplay experience. Enemies will pull no punches. The game was designed with this difficulty level in mind. Or we have a story mode. Story mode makes completing chapters easier. The objectives will be less taxing. Battles can be optionally skipped. Enemies deal less damage. Select this if you want to focus on enjoying the narrative. So really, it just depends on what you want to do. Now, for me, I think I'm going to go with story mode because with being a YouTuber and Let's Player, it kind of cuts out grind, basically. I mean, it does say that you can skip battles if you wish, but obviously I will try not to do that as much as possible because we want some combat as well, but it just gives me the option to be able to progress through the story more quickly. So I'm going to go with story mode there and let's go ahead and dive in guys and i just want to say that i do love it when devs allow this kind of option because some people don't always have time for this kind of thing you know to like grind and spend hours on a game so it's a really nice touch to be honest And as always guys, we have a 100 like goal here on the channel for every single video and stream. So click the thumbs up button if you like the look of this game and you're enjoying the stream and I shall do more of it on the channel guys. Our story begins in the Rashtil Expanse where the wind races across empty plains. It is a sad, hostile land. A wild frontier and a gateway to lands unknown. In ages past, Rashtil had a heart, the city-state of Ascalia, ruled by the Great House Loran. Indeed, over centuries, it came to be known as the Gem in the Realms, earning respect from all races under the sun. But the Crusades changed that. Attracting the ire of its neighbors, Ascalia was lost to the flames of war. With its marble bones laid to rest, the city has slept ever since, until now. In a distant country, a father lies on his deathbed. For his entire life, he has kept a secret. Yet now, the truth is finally revealed. His only son, Kay, learns that Ascalia belongs to his family, the noble house Lauren. As the sole remaining heir, it is his destiny to face that heritage, to restore the ancestral kingdom. Aided by his two sisters and a trusty bodyguard, young Kay sets out on a journey to the Rashtil Expanse, to Ascalia. The legend is about to be retold. Oh, that actually gave me goosebumps. <laughs> Pineapple Fox says, ooh, voice acting, yay! 
Greenfire says, Hi, Period Cube was and still is a great game. I think I got excited at times. I seriously want to play it. Well, unfortunately, it's not done very well on the channel. There is the option to sponsor a Let's Play through my Patreon. So if you want to check that out, you do have that option. And uh, I will finish the second playthrough if someone decides to sponsor it, basically. But sadly, with the Adpocalypse, I cannot afford to earn less than $1 per stream. It's just ridiculous right now. So I've got to move on to games that do well on the channel. This is a business at the end of the day. So we've got tutorial here. Hello, my name is Gwendolyn Lauren, and I guess I'll have to be your guide here. Do me a favor and at least try to read these pop-ups. Perhaps you'll learn something. Cutscene overview. You can navigate through the dialogue by clicking on the right of the mouse. You can skip cutscenes instantly by pressing the space bar. If you do so, you will be given a brief summary of what happened afterwards. Cutscenes that require you to make a choice cannot be skipped in this way. Right, so basically if we die or anything, we can skip a cutscene if we've already seen it, which is pretty useful. And so, on a promise made on the father's dying breath, our hero arrives to fulfill his destiny. I want to know who this narrator is. <laughs> so it's lovely artwork, by the way, guys. There's full information For on the Kickstarter page, justice! actually. Okay. <laughs> okay. Chill Wait. out. But that's not our hero. <laughs> Hold your head up high, son. You've got responsibility now. This is our hero. I can't feel my legs. <laughs> Too much walking. Where's my trusty steed to carry me everywhere? My chariot awaits. <laughs> Steal yourself, young master. We're almost at the castle. See, Griffith looks like like the typical hero, doesn't he, really? Look at him clad in that armor. And he's got a lion's face on his arm. That's so awesome. Right, Griffith could be husbando right now, I think. <laughs> right. <laughs> Pineapple Fox says, I already love the art style. This place is a mess. Not quite what I was expecting. <laughs> Were you just expecting to walk into a kingdom and everything be hunky-dory? No work required. Ah, but surely you aim to restore this place to glory, young master. You are, after all, its rightful ruler. That's right, boy. Book your ideas up. Well... <laughs> I don't think he wants the work or the responsibility, like, whatsoever. Here's the sisters. What a terrible, terrible dump. Glorious kingdom, my ass. <laughs> well, Gwendolyn is definitely waifu, straight off the bat. Look how sexy she is. She's got the beauty spot, she's got a really sexy voice. And I am just loving her outfit and hair right now. Remind me, whose idea was it to come here again? Actually, I'm pretty sure both of you insisted. Sis, isn't this exciting? It's like we're heroes of a book on an adventure or something. She sounds so familiar. She reminds me of... <sighs> she reminds me of the daughter in um, Korra. Um, you know, the daughter of the airbender, the son of Aang. The one that ends up, like, shaving her head as well. I can't remember her name, but she sounds like her. <sighs> well, I suppose we may as well try to salvage something from this terrible misunderstanding of a trip. 
uh, salvage? Onwards, minions, to the castle. Maybe there's something valuable left, at least. Faymeref says, Gwendolyn is pretty cute. I'd take her out on a date. <laughs> I think she'd, like, critique everything, though. The food was too hot. The sauce wasn't spicy enough. <laughs> There's dirt on my knife. <laughs> Minions? So what do we think so far, guys? Initial first impressions. Tutorial, free roaming overview, overview. In free roaming scenes like this one, you have direct control over K. Press the right side of the mouse anywhere on the screen to walk and press it twice to run instead. Press the right side of the mouse on a character to approach them and start a conversation. You can exit all free roaming scenes by clicking on the door icon. To pan the camera, hold down the scroll on the mouse and drag your mouse. I have marked all of the exits in this scene with a large gold arrow. Think you can handle it? Don't get lost now. Okay. <laughs> okay, so it seems like only major cutscenes do have VA. So, obviously, I'm not going to read this out, guys. You're capable of reading it yourselves. <laughs> okay, so this is my quest area. <clears throat> oh god, don't tell me I'm losing my voice on a stream. Go to Castle Lauren. While empirical evidence seems to suggest that your new inheritance will be both pointless and terrible, there may yet be a chance to recoup your losses. See what you can find in the castle. You have inherited the land of Ascalia, or rather what little remains of it. Things aren't quite what you were expecting. <laughs> It never is though, is it? So that goes to town, to town, and to town. So <laughs> literally we're going to town, which is fine. So town square it is. So there's little hints and tips in the center of the screen there, which I totally have not paid attention to, like at all. <laughs> Oh, Castle Lauren, there we go. I was already in the town. Never mind, I got confused. <laughs> Thank you, Nelly. Thank you for the like. Greatly appreciated. Not much of an improvement. Uh, certainly not. It's all covered in cobwebs. <laughs> Look at it! It's filthy and dusty! There's cobwebs everywhere. Ugh, don't remind me. Loot and scoot boys! <laughs> Loot and scoot boys! I like her. I so like Gwendolyn. Well, at least she has her priorities straight. Look, young master. Such exquisite pieces of armor. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I totally love the way Griffith talks. I'm just going to call him Griff for short, guys, okay? Because otherwise I'm just going to butcher his name. Um, but Griff is definitely Husbando. Just the way he speaks. Oh, I love him. I've fallen in love straight away. <laughs> Gwendolyn and Griff. Yes, please. Nelly says, LOL, is that water? Yes, I've run out of my flavoured water bottle, so I'm using this giant glass <laughs> to drink water so that I don't have to leave and constantly get drinks. It's ginormous, and I'm wearing my Dark Souls t-shirt today, which I absolutely love. Aha! 
Oh, Fame Eref is bringing the puns in the stream chat. Don't worry, young ruler, it will be okay. <laughs> Aaron says, Griffith sounds like a really proud warrior. No, he does wait. indeed. Rat poop. Rat poopy. Oh no, Gwendolyn. I must say, the inhabitants must have had a remarkable grasp on... What? Who just drank something? What's this, big bro? It sounds like someone drank something then. <laughs> just some tea I found in a pot nearby. Oh, no! That might not be tea. You don't drink mysterious liquid found in a pot in some place that's been abandoned for a long time. Like, seriously, why would you do that? <laughs> why? Tastes like dust and ashes, but, you know, it's still tea, right? No, it's probably the ashes of a dead person. Oh, absolutely vile. Blah. <laughs> Wait, what? You do realize that you just poured stuff from an urn. <laughs> Not the brightest bulb, let's say. As in literal ashes. Uh, he's just totally like drank the ashes of some dead dude or lady. That is vile. Absolutely vile. No, he's still happy though. He's delighted. <laughs> Just like everyone's stunned into silence by this action. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> no swearing though, no swearing. Oh sugar. <laughs> Let's say sugar. What is the meaning of this <laughs> Oh god, you've rattled his chains! <laughs> Dummy Gamer says, oh my god, that is so gross. It is disgusting. And Biori says, wow, yuck. Oh come on now. Let's not let's not insult each other, okay? Well, apparently I have drank them. <laughs> this is an outrage! My rest interrupted! My remains defiled! Prepare for severe punishment! I don't what can a ghost do? Well, if he's a poltergeist, he can throw things at you, but, you know. Possession, maybe? <laughs> oh my god, Kay is such a derp. Just kidding, how are you doing? <laughs> Just kidding, how are you doing? <laughs> oh, this game has got me laughing already. Okay. Wow, he's like a little. He reminds me of a of a uh, a dwarf, like from Lord of the Rings. He reminds me of Gimli. I don't know why. You'll have to toss me. <laughs> I what? Don't go what on me, son. You're the one who drank my ashes, so you know some manners, eh? Maybe an introduction. <laughs> you should introduce yourself before you drink one's ashes. How rude. At least at least take me out for a drink first. Don't go straight into drinking my ashes. <laughs> I that a thing? Do you often wander into other fellas' households slurping their debtors? <laughs> Is Kay of House Lauren, heir apparent to this revered establishment. Ghost or no, respect is in order. Respect! Oh, I love that, how he emphasised respect there. Griff, power to Griff. But... Oh, 
So you're a Lauren, Sonny? Funny story. That would make me your grandfather. Desideratus of House Lauren, at your service. I'm gonna try and say that. Desideratus? Desideratus? What? <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna call him D for sure, okay? Now I imagine being dead limits my options. Well, yeah. <laughs> is this real life? Is this the real life? Or is it just fantasy? So, <laughs> heir apparent, is it? Good for you. I thought you'd be taller. And bulkier. And, you know, smarter. And <laughs> Big no-no. Rocky start, my boy. <laughs> well, to be fair, Kay hasn't demonstrated much intelligence so far, really. Let's face it. Uh, look. Anyway, since I'm already here, might as well help you get right on track. Hmm? Fetch me the castellan. What's a castellan? Okay, I don't know what that is. Oh joy. <laughs> this is just a very weird bunch so far, but I'm loving the humor of this game right now. And the idle animations are nice as well. I don't think there's one left around. Bullshit, son! <laughs> Bullshit, <And> son! <laughs> I love it! I love D! He's amazing! Oh my god. This... Uh. Oh. Uh. Uh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Shouldn't you know? This has kind of been your resting place. At least he agrees, of all people. Seriously, what have you people done to the castle? Is it that bad? What about the village? The village is non-existent. <laughs> and we haven't done anything! We got here and it was like this, okay? This it's not our right. fault. This ain't right at all! But you're the heir. You'll be putting all of this back together? <laughs> uh, if he can be asked. Well... Indeed, noble spirit. As we live and breathe, we shall see to it that young master will... I love Griff. I say, Indeed, as we live and breathe, by my honour and my valour. <laughs> Bring, uh, uh... Look, I'm sorry about the action. Zerul says it's the blonde and I squad. The offer. <laughs> I really do. True. I wonder if we'll get someone with different coloured hair. We don't even know what colour hair D has because he's a ghost and he's bald. So, <laughs> maybe he had blonde hair? Maybe it's like part of the family tree. Everyone has blonde hair. But we came here looking for a family estate, not ghosts in ruins. Nobody expected this. This is crazy. True, but you've inherited it nonetheless, and you have a responsibility. Faye Merif says, I don't think Kay could put together a two-piece puzzle. Oh, that's like, that's so mean, Faye Merif. But you're the heir. Sorry, this just won't work out. It's too much work, not interested. I want a refund. <laughs> Take back my inheritance, I don't want it. What the must... Wait, where are you going? Kay? It's really bothering me, Elaine's voice. I know it, I know the VA, but I can't... I can't place it. Kay. Hey, Rayla, welcome back to the stream. You are a little bit late. You've left, uh, you've missed even the introduction. I can't even speak today. Wait, you lot! I ain't done with you! What are you gonna do? You're probably bound to this place. It's not like you can just float and follow us. <laughs> ah, kids these days! <laughs> 
Carly says, you basically signed the contract to this place when you drank the grandpa's ashes. <laughs> There's no going back. It's, it's bonded forever, now that you've sipped his ashes. Don't forget guys, we do have a 100 like goal on every single video and stream, so if you do like what you see, don't forget to click the thumbs up button. Let's smash those 100 likes live together on this video. Okay, a particular dumb decision summons the ghost of Kay's grandfather, who then urges Kay to rebuild the kingdom. Overwhelmed by this sudden responsibility, Kay refuses, leaving the castle to collect his thoughts. You've got to do it, Kay. You've got to do it. It's time to book your ideas up. Oh, hey guys. Responsibility and all that jazz. What was that all about? <laughs> Faye Merif has made a good point, actually. Imagine if D is bound to Kay since he ingested his ashes. I Imagine if he can thoughts. now, like, possess Kay and force him to do it. <laughs> sure looked like a temper tantrum to me. It's just too much, you know? I was, I was expecting it to be easy, you know? One day we're heirs to an ancient city. Then it turns out that there's nothing left standing and that the whole errand was pointless. And last but not least, there's a crazy ghost who wants us, me, to rebuild this place as if I'm some sort of king. <laughs> well, no pressure. No pressure. You do know you kind of stepped into that one yourself. So what is your plan, young master? We're leaving this place. Really? He's not even willing to try. Okay. But well, we're not heroes. We may be of House Lauren, but so what? This place is ancient history, nothing more. So Bioyai says Gwendolyn is voiced by Amber Lee Connors from Funimation. Doesn't ring a bell to me. I would have to know the characters that um, she's done VA for because I'm really bad with names. <laughs> Did someone say House Lauren? Villain! That is so a villain's voice. Introducing the first villain! Well met. With whom do I have the pleasure? <laughs> I like how it just says bald man. They won't name him by any other feature other than him being bald. They could have called him Villainous Eyebrows Man. Because those are totally villain eyebrows. <laughs> Look how arched they are. <laughs> how rude to demand the name of another before introducing oneself. Yep. Damn straight. I've heard that quite a few times in anime and games, actually. Very well. The lady has a point. The lady has a point, ha ha ha. Walter Crucy, I represent the furtive union. Well, <laughs> he's a posho, isn't he? Walter Crucy, where's my wine and my butler? The furtive union? I take it you are not familiar with our organization, then? Never heard of you. Sorry. <laughs> not interested. Speaking concisely, we are men of business. Sometimes we invest, sometimes we lend. But mostly, we reclaim goods deemed impossible to vindicate. Now let me guess, do you want to stake a claim? The moment he wants to stake a claim is going to be the moment that Kay says, No, it's mine! <laughs> like a little spoiled child. So you're debt collectors? Correct, more or less. Great. Debt collectors. What next? 
But Real estate agents? In the dark over your identity. Or your rather puzzling presence in this God's forsaken place. You were not supposed to be here. Well... I do not like your tone. This is Kay, heir to House Lauren, inheritor of Ascalia, the rightful master of this city. If anyone remains the intruder, it is your entourage, Mr. Crucy. <laughs> I just so love him. Griff is amazing. Well, actually, <laughs> how dare you speak to Kay that way? Is that true? You are the heir, young man. Baymara says he's a villain for sure. I mean, his organization name literally means secrecy. Dun dun dun! By the gods, Griffith. You would doubt our word? Interesting. That is an excellent turn of events. We shall kill two birds with one stone. Oh? Regretfully, I have to inform you that your holdings and possessions back home have been confiscated. What? What? <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Same reaction as Kay there. What? How the hell? If you truly are Kay of House Lauren, then by virtue of law, you have also inherited the obligations placed upon this land. Monetary obligations. Obligations? In short, your ancestors have left you a rather staggering debt, my lord. <laughs> so not only has he inherited a ruin, essentially, he's inherited vast amounts of debt as well. Wow. Hey, John, welcome to the stream. Show me. What? <laughs> oh, look at the tears flowing. How is that even possible? The zeros need a separate sticker to fit on paper. <laughs> Oh god. Okay, it's really bad then. I am afraid that for all their prestige and renown. Hey Jesus, no welcome to the stream. To have been rather indulgent people, my lord. Shall we proceed with the execution? What? But but I don't have that kind of money. I thought you meant like shall we just kill you and be done with it now? And then the debt is cleared. <laughs> That is unfortunate. Also ironic, given their wealth of history here. Oh, he knows full well what he's doing. He's such a snake. I can't believe it. All of this, the whole city, lost because of a debt? So Biori says Stephen Kelly is the voice actor of Kay, and he also did voice work for Dragon Age Inquisition. Ooh, good to know. Thank you very much, Biori. Why, no. It got destroyed during the Crusades. The debt, you see, is an older development. The Crusades? But enough angsting over history. Business first. I think his henchmen are like trolls or something. They look like they've got crystals growing out of their back, or maybe their leaves, I can't tell. Let me introduce you to my assistants. <laughs> Carly says that's a big cup, Kylie. Yes, it's uh it's got water in it. I've run out of flavoured water bottles, so I'm having to resort to the giant glass so that I can have a drink. <laughs> so I don't have to leave the room and get drinks, basically. Fight time, maybe? Mr. Knight, what are you doing? Mikey says, the villain alone has me sold on this game. I love beating up on a good villain. You will not harm them. Please, we are civilized people. Punching, albeit enjoyable, would give us little 
<laughs> Punching, albeit enjoyable. <laughs> so he's not denying he likes to use brute force. The truth remains, however, that you indeed seem unable to procure funds. Thus, I propose a deal. A deal? You are a king right now, young man. Of sorts. Your title still has hold in Rashtil. People respect it, and respect Here we go, here we go. Come on, reveal your plot. I propose you seize what chance you have. Rebuild this city of yours. Revitalize it. Is this a trick? <laughs> <laughs> Why would it be? Oh, come on. After you laugh and say... <laughs> Why would it be? If he had a beard, he'd totally have been stroking it right then. Why would it be a trick? <laughs> or, like, curling his moustache. Why? It's not a trick. <laughs> okay, I, I believe refuse? you. Not. seem to have misunderstood my position, my lord. It is not an if, not a but, not a maybe. Do it, or payment shall be extracted through different means. Considerably less pleasurable, if I may add. Well, he's not really given us any choice in the matter, to be honest. Faye Merv says, who thinks that running a sword through Crucy would be therapeutic? Yes. Yes, I do. Can we stab him? Stab him in the groin. <laughs> Always go for the groin, guys. <laughs> Thick bro. Dommy Gamer says, so it's a trap! <laughs> so does Gumpler, actually. It's a trap! I am a reasonable man. Are you? We shall split the debts into parts, each to be paid in regular intervals. Would that be acceptable? It's still a really high amount that we owe, though. You're asking us to do the impossible. No, we are asking you to do the improbable. <laughs> Is this a chance now? Oh, now we're getting into semantics, okay. I urge you to act as soon as possible. Time is money, and you cannot afford to waste it, my lord. And this is our cue to leave. The accord has been reached, nothing else remains to be said. Soon, I will contact you through mail. I bid you farewell. Yeah, they look like kind of trolls to me. But this is insane! His minions. The deadline is approaching. Tick tock. Tick tock, tick tock. I want to steal your money. <laughs> He's such a villain. Don't forget, guys, if you do want to support me as a YouTuber and streamer, I do have a Patreon account and a stream tip link. Both of those are in the video description. For supporting me on Patreon, I have various rewards and benefits, including Patreon-only giveaways for $5 a month or higher. And obviously on stream tip, it is just one-off donations, but I do have a target on there as well as a target on Patreon as well. So it would really help me out right now, considering the adpocalypse is still ongoing. Give me a minute. EA Bergman says, Crucy probably wants to take over the kingdom when it's rebuilt, most likely. Like, he's going to make us pay for the debt, and then on top of that, he's going to try and do something where he gets to take over and the kingdom gets claimed. Definitely. I can see that happening. Okay. Vadius says, I am here and watching, but having technical issues at the moment, this game seems like a lot of fun. 
I'm enjoying it so far. The humor is awesome. And I really like the VA as well. Isn't it obvious? It's not like we have any other options. Nope, we sure don't, Gwendolyn. Yeah. Hello, Stib. Welcome to the stream. Did... Did they really sell Dad's estate? That's evil! Does it change anything? Wasn't Master K planning to make his ancestors proud anyway? I like how Griff just has, like, this unwavering faith in K. Yeah, through this entire time, K has been nothing but not wanting to take this responsibility on. <laughs> but Griff is still like, no, he is honourable. <laughs> well, technically, uh, you know what, never mind. No, go on. How do you feel about this? I'll be honest with you guys. I don't like this one bit. Aside from the debt thing, whoever or whatever should be doing spring cleaning here, it's not me. Not us. What do you guys think of Kay's attitude about this situation? I can see why he can't be asked because it is a lot of work, but equally now he has no choice. Otherwise, Crucy will collect the debt through any means, remember? But then comes the debt thing. And we don't really have any choice anymore. I hate it. But we must. Damn it. Hey, this Stephen. So Welcome to the stream. Annoying, more like. What's the big deal? Can't hurt to try. And you have that alleged grandfather to help us, right? <laughs> alleged. <laughs> don't trust D. Oh, that's true. I have completely forgotten about him. I do not expect him to be happy about the debt. No. But then, isn't he partly to blame? Won't he have been one of the people adding to the debt? Because it was the ancestors who live an extravagant lifestyle which have created this debt in the first place. No, he won't be. But that's not going to be the worst part of the conversation. Biori says K needs to stop being stubborn. Carly says K's attitude is very spoilt brat attitude to me. Ah, uh, oh well. To the castle then. Off we go to beg and moan. Yay. Panda Bear says K is a coward. Our distraught hero is visited by the ominous Mr. Crucy, who reveals that Kay's ancestors have accumulated a massive debt over the centuries. The debt collector poses a ultimatum, restore the kingdom to pay off the debt or perish in igno... igno... oh god, I can't even say that. His hands seemingly tied, Kay decides to confer with his, confer with his ghostly grandfather once more. Feymerif says Kay's and attitude is it understandable. It's not like he asked to be the heir, but now he is, and he's got to make the best of the situation. Hmm. Nasty buggers, them FUs. <laughs> FUs? It's almost like he's saying fuck you. <laughs> so it looks like you'll be needing my help after all, eh? Ah, oh. <laughs> Funny how it works. <laughs> Troll -la, 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 la Yes, the irony is not lost on us. <laughs> oh, the humor is so good. I love it so much. Just tell me what to it do. It does remind me of Disgaea. Let me see. Hmm. He's pacing. Well, he's not really pacing. He's... Floating king, back in two. To Lord over, <laughs> yeah? So that's the first thing. Get someone to move here. Any pair of hands would be a resource right now. Also, perhaps it'd be worth looking into that whole debt business, you know? What do you mean? 
So close to 100 likes, guys. Thank you so much for the love and support. Keep the thumbs up button clicked because we have a 100 like goal for every single video and stream. So let's try and smash those 100 likes alive together. I know we can do it because my team, GGK, are awesome. And of course, the new viewers, thank you so much for clicking the thumbs up button as well. What you got was scraps, and we need facts. Rits, documents, the whole story, my boy. He's got a point. Don't just take what Cruz is saying at face value. I mean, he's a villain. He's obviously a villain. He's got the villainous eyebrows. And he's bald. And he's got henchmen that are trolls. So. <laughs> Call me a sentimental dead sod. But I can't imagine my kiddos ruining the kingdom over money. Cruzy mentioned wars. Crusades. <laughs> Gumpa says, Grandpa D, that fug life, though. There you go. Something worth looking into, hmm? I recognise Grandpa's voice as well. Ah, uh, and Sonny, you're not alone. Those sisters of yours, that stern-looking chap, you're all House Lauren. Do not try to think everything through by yourself. You have four heads. Oh my god, guys! Thank you so much for the 100 likes. I love you all. Greatly appreciated. It's a massive help for my channel and for exposing my videos on my channel as well. So thank you to every single person that's clicked the thumbs up button. I'm going to go ahead and change to the next... Uh, like goal now which as always the next goal that we have after 100 is 120 likes so maybe we can smash that goal as well on this stream that would be really really awesome and there's you so yeah, thank you so much guys. That's that's really cool. <laughs> oh, right. About that. I'm hopping in. Huh? What? I'm hopping in. <gasps> He's going to possess K. I'm calling it now. He's so going to possess K. Don't harm me, boy. Like it or not, technically I'm inside you now. Oh! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I don't want D inside me! <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Ew. And this means our fates are tied for now. And believe me, you'll need me. Oh yes. Oh yes, you'll need me inside you, day and night. <laughs> Leon says, what platform is this game on? Because I'm considering getting it myself. It's available on Steam, but it is coming out on the PS Vita and the PS4 eventually, just not yet. And don't forget, guys, if you do like the look of this game and you want to support my channel at the same time, you can actually buy Steam codes through PlayAsia. And if you go through my affiliate link in the video description, it gives me a small commission and helps with my PlayAsia sales, which maintains my PlayAsia partnership. And if you buy codes through PlayAsia, they actually send you the codes within minutes as well. So it's actually not costing you anything extra to do this, and it's giving the channel a small tip at the same time. In other words, you'll be lugging me around. It's kind of like thanking me for showing you a game as well, which you are now buying, so think about it. <laughs> oh gods. Oh just kidding, but I appreciate the enthusiasm. My spirit is bound to these walls. Likely for good. He was just joking! Okay, so we don't have the D inside us, guys. Funny shame that. I would love to see how the world's changed over all these centuries. What was it like back then, Grandpa? Uh, probably nicer if you don't count the gnomes. I'll the gnomes! <laughs> no, I want to know about the gnomes now. You can't just dangle the gnomes in front of me and not tell me about the gnomes. I want to know about the gnomes. Cool. The gnomes. But the gnomes are still around. They are? 
The gnomes still exist, Grandpa. <sighs> I knew it, them business savvy midgets. <laughs> they you faster than a gander over the stacked deck. <laughs> don't be no, Mr. D. Come on now. That's great. Irritating and bipolar, I see. <laughs> Gwen? Now, I may be a racist old codger who has mixed feelings about them gnomes, but they know their stuff, and you do need their stuff. Well, at least he admits it. Which is? Faymerif says, geez, if Grandpa keeps yanking their chains too much, they'll stop believing in him. Don't stop believing. Pretty much everything they touch turns to gold. Then you need gold, no? Right. Get us a gnome. Lock it in the dungeon. Make it touch everything. Free gold. Sounds like a plan to me. Free money. Why not? Does it stay gold, though? I've never heard of that before. Gnomes touching something, turning it to gold. It's the Midas touch. You're gonna need trade routes. And they're born tradesmen, sonny. If anyone can help you make the coin flow again, it's them. As much as it cramps my spectral butt to say so. <laughs> I didn't think uh, ghosts could get cramp in their buttocks, but okay. I see. Buttocks cramp? Hashtag buttocks cramp, guys. <laughs> Right. Time to get to work. Oh, one more thing. And one more thing. Before you do anything, Sonny, have you, uh, taken a good look around? Mikey says it looks like this game is one of those games that has a balance between seriousness and humour. I love those types of games. And Greenfire says GGK, the grandfather, kind of... Reminds me of some family members of mine. <laughs> oh, your family must be hilarious. Castle's a mess. Unless you want to be king for dust mites, I'd suggest the four of you grab a mop and declutter it. No way in hell I'm going to clean. <laughs> I knew Gwendolyn was going to say that. I, uh, I'm allergic to dust. Looks like it's gonna be K. Gee, thanks, guys. What about Griff? Is he gonna help? <laughs> Griff just doesn't even say anything. <laughs> Griff's like, like, I'm a warrior. I'm not gonna belittle myself and pick up a mop and a, and a blimmin' broom. With no alternatives in sight, the family resolves to restore Ascalia, if only to get rid of Crucy. Following the grandfather's suggestion, Kay and Griff descended to the castle's less than charming rooms to do some spring cleaning. Francis says, I love the humour of this game. There's going to be enemies, maybe. I want a fight. We haven't had a fight yet, guys. We need we need some fighting action, I think. Oh, rats! Okay. <laughs> well, I jinxed it. What is going on? They've got multiple arms. Look, there's an arm here. And there's like an arm coming off the... Uh, it's absolutely disgusting. Just hit it! Just hit it! Just kill it, for the love of God. Ambush! Our heroes are attacked by the skittering denizens of the castle. Hallway beneath the castle. Defeat all enemies. Start battle. This is your list of available characters. Press the right part of the mouse on a portrait and then press the right click again 
on any blue tile to deploy them. Pressing the left click will cancel your last choice. Here we go! Okay, tutorial actions. During their activation, each combatant can both move and perform an action in any order. Combatants can move multiple times during an activation as long as they have movement points remaining. However, combatants can perform only one action per activation. This can mean either using a skill or an item. When you are done, end K's activation by pressing the space bar. Ignore all of the bells and whistles for now. Focus on moving your characters forward, perhaps using a skill or two to get the feel of them. Okay. The hot bar with all of the available actions is here. Hovering over skill icons will display extensive information about the highlighted skills. I just want to take a second to say this music is amazing. Um, it's damage range, cooldown period and possible ongoing effects. You can cancel your selections by pressing the right click on the mouse. Right, command grants 20% of maximum shields to a target if used on an ally. Ampl applies marked to a target for two turns if used on an enemy. Deals 70% of base damage as physical to a target. Applies weakened for two turns. What's this? Uh, deals 95% of base damage as physical to a target, has a 50% chance to apply slowed for two turns. Then we've got Inspire, spawns an inspiring banner on the battlefield for two turns. The banner has a 30% chance to apply Empowered to an ally when they activate. The chance is increased to 100% if the ally activates while adjacent to the banner. Oh nice. Then we've got End Activation, ends your current activation, ending the activation without Neither moving nor acting will grant 5% of maximum shields. We've got item use and then we've got undo what we've done. So I'm going to go ahead. I kind of want to do the banner thing, but I don't know. I just want to mess Watch around, this. really. Sneezing on me. Weakened. The time is now. Right, let's see. So we've got pinpoint strike deals 80% of base damage is physical to a targeted enemy. Applies sundered for two turns. Uh, boisterous challenge applies taunted for two turns and blinded for two turns to the target enemy. That's nice. Present Strike deals 80% of base damage as ice to targets in range. User generates 10% shields for each target hit. I don't even know. That must be like some kind of AoE then. Dynamic Entry! Oh my god, it reminds me of Naruto. <laughs> Moves to the target. If it's an enemy, deals 70% of base damage as physical 10% per each tile moved through if it is an ally, applies fleet for two turns and removes all negative ongoing effects. Push them back. Oh, I can get back again, that's nice. It looks like the damage that I'm doing to the small rats is actually damaging the brood mother as well, guys. Violence! <laughs> okay. Right, health and shields. Below you can see your combatant's current health and shield values. In Regalia, health cannot be replenished during combat in any way. What? Instead, combatants can gain temporary shields which allow them to absorb incoming damage. 
Since shields are depleted before health, it is important to regenerate them preemptively using skills and items. Beware though, there are numerous ways to bypass shields and they are available mostly to your enemies. Hey, life ain't fair. Right, okay. Well, maybe, hang on a second. Grants 20% 20, 20 of maximum shields to a target if used on a ally. Strike now! Not yet! Let us strike. Do you think the sisters can fight? I think they can. I reckon they can. Ongoing effects and passive abilities. As you might have already noticed, your skills involve more than just headbutting stuff. <laughs> skills may apply positive or negative ongoing effects to their targets. These are always displayed at the bottom of a skills tooltip. Passive abilities are special types of ongoing effects unique to each combatant. These are infinite in duration and typically reflect a combatant's playstyle. All ongoing effects currently affecting the combatants are shown here. This is also where you will find a combatant's passive ability. Right, Battle Tide generates one stack of Battle Tide whenever K uses a skill. At three stacks, all stacks are consumed, granting either Empowered, Evasion, Aegis, or Fleet, chosen randomly to a random ally for two turns. Fleet, Movement, and Initiative increased by half of the base value, and Weakened, base damage reduced by 25%. It looks like I've got this on me at the moment. I think that's from one of these little rats that have done this to me. Right. There are no usable items in your inventory, so I can't even use an item to restore my shield anyway. We've got wait, delays current activation by one space on the turn order track. Keep up the momentum, guys. Alright, let's try this ice move. Oh, nice. Do not falter. Mara says yes, the enemies have been stacking weakened on you, Kylie.
right at you. Nice. So I've just done weakened as well. Not yet. Right, so it has to be in the sight line, basically. Okay. Can I not use it on myself? No, looks like I can't. HP left on K now. Here we go. Nice. I got evasion from my passive ability, which is cool. Not yet. At your side. For on Missed. Oh my god, really? That sucks so much. We're low on health, actually, guys. There's nothing, like... We are on 115 likes guys, thank you so much for the support. We're actually close to the second like goal of the stream, which is 120. So if you do like this game and you want to support it on the channel and see more of it on the channel, then make sure you click the thumbs up button. What is this place? An armory? Well, yeah, there's weapons and there's armor. Well, well. I think you should look at this, sire. Sire? So, Feymerif says, I think Griff has 630 health. Sire. What? That... Uh, okay. So it's quite a lot of health on Griff, but it makes sense since he's like the bodyguard warrior type. What did you find? Wait, a sketch of House Lauren's family tree? That's exactly what we need! Sweet! Oh, but it's incomplete. Damaged. It's a start, no? I think it'll come in handy, though. What do you mean? Look at it as one looks at a foundation. With this, you get a tangible base to build upon. Questions to answer, people to look for, names to check, a direction, so to speak. 
Which is exactly what we need right now. I just feel like Griff always knows the right things to say at the right time. <laughs> I am sure that eventually we will be able to fill the blanks ourselves. Uh, you're right. Let's show this to the girls, Griffith. Agreed. And as unenthusiastic as they were, let us hope they have cleaned up the main <laughs> I doubt it. Don't hold your breath. Oh, yay, guys! We reached 120 likes. We reached the second like goal for this stream. Thank you so much for the love and support. You guys are being so supportive on this stream and it's greatly appreciated. Now for the third and final light goal that we usually have once we be beat the second light goal, it's uh, actually 150 likes. So I'm going to be optimistic and maybe we can beat it. We shall see. But you guys are killing it today with the support. So thank you so much. I'm sure Grandfather would nag them to death otherwise. Oh, by the way, before we go... This seems out of place. Yeah, just a little bit. The fact that it's like the brightly coloured thing in the room. The only brightly coloured thing in the room, really. All the other pieces of armour are pretty dull. Indeed. It does not resemble any of the other armors around the castle. Thoughts? It seems Lord Amarian in origin. Sun symbols everywhere. Plenty of ornamentations. Highly impractical. Perhaps used for ceremonial reasons. Griff is like a fountain of knowledge. In all honesty, it is hard to tell sometimes. Lord Amar's knights like it gaudy. Lord Amar? The kingdom of Lord Amar to the east? Militant sun worshippers? Praise the sun! And I'm wearing my Dark Souls shirt, guys! <laughs> what are the odds? Praise the sun! <laughs> the very same, yes. Why would a Lormorian armor be locked in here? We're in Rashtil. That's far, far away. A gift from a king, perhaps. Hmm, could be. I uh, think we should do something with it. Poke it. See what happens. <laughs> if it doesn't involve Lady Gwen pawning it off for money, then yes. <laughs> so she can buy a new extravagant outfit or perfume or something. I was thinking more along the lines of main hall decoration moving it somewhere more presentable. Fair enough. I mean, it is a lovely piece of armour. I do not It looks like it's got not. wings on it. Wings on the head, on the helmet, and then wings coming off the shoulders as well. All right. Up to it. Sometimes I think you and your sisters are more alike than you imagine, young master. <laughs> I think he's saying that under his breath so Kay doesn't hear. The now 5041 says, very nice shirt. Thank you so much. I actually forgot I had this shirt. It was buried in my drawer. And I was like, I really just want to wear something just casual today. And I found the Dark Souls shirt and I was like, yes. <laughs> After stumbling upon the castle armory, our heroes retrieve an incomplete family tree of House Lauren. While the information it presents is scarce, it gives them a solid base to start their inquiry into what exactly happened to Ascalia. Additionally, it appears that someone somehow has left behind a suspicious suit of golden armor. Hey, Random Yoshi, welcome to the stream. It looks like some cleaning hey, has been back. done, actually. And look, look. So, must have hung it on the wall, I guess. Or is this a different one? I don't know. How did it go? To be honest, we didn't really clean much, but we found this. Well, we did clean. Technically, defeating those rats was clean enough, though. Random Yoshi says, I missed the start of the stream. Don't worry, buddy. You can catch up on YouTube later on at your own pace. What's that? Looks like a family tree. I love the noise. <laughs> Our family tree, I assume. Yeah. 
You know, this may actually be useful. We're going to need stuff like this if we want to get to the bottom of this debt business. Time for some sister time, guys. Sister, sister! Our thoughts exactly. Ho <laughs> ho but it's more than that! Ho <laughs> ho Don't forget about Grandpa D. You can't be <laughs> narrow-minded in this, boy. It's not just about who borrowed what, you know? I love how he just explodes into the room in a puff of smoke. If you want to be a king, you need legitimacy. And that means history, lineage, solid facts. Everything that constitutes rulership. You may frown upon this, Sonny, but there are folks who buy into this more than they buy into money. It's a chunk of knowledge that will help you in the long run. I agree. If we are to be nobility, we need the bearings of nobility. And if it helps us on more than one front, all the better. I can't be running around dusting off chronicles. There are things to do right here, right now. You're not alone in this, big bro. Remember? That's right. We can work as a team. Let me handle the... Mm, boring ancestry stuff. I'll be digging into documents and family affairs while you do your thing. Which I assume will involve whacking uglies. <laughs> Basically, that's her way of saying I'm the brains and you're the brawn. <laughs> In a really polite, roundabout way. What about me? What about you? Oh! I want to help too. How about no? <laughs> oh, God. I think that's an excellent idea. I'd appreciate it if you two would work on this together. Give her a chance. Come on. Are you serious? Look at that rage face, though. Can you see the vein? You heard him. Oh, come on, sis. Why the long face? It's going to be fun. I still can't say your name. Hello, Giggle Emo. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Ah, also, I bet your duties will take you all over Rash Till, Sonny. Methinks you should also ask the nice ladies over here to look after the city while you're away. We built this city. All in all, you're in this together, hmm? As a family. Well, you're technically our family as well. You're the granddaddy. So are you, old fart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, She's sassy. Can I trust you with this, then? Leave it to us. What about you, Griffith? You know my answer. I will be with you till the end of my days, Master. I swore an oath on your father's dying breath that I would not leave your side. I shall follow you in the field should you call me to do so. Very well. <laughs> Didn't need that really long pledge of allegiance, but okay, <laughs> let's go. What's our next step? It's Giggle Monster. Okay. I'll call you Giggle Monster then. I may have a thing, Kay. Hello, Nocturne. Welcome to the stream. While you guys were gone, I took a sightseeing trip around the city. Oh, nice. Okay. You mean when you were supposed to be cleaning. So did Gwendolyn do all the cleaning then? out there are still some people living in the area. Really? Yep, there's an inn near the crossroads, not far away from the gates. I saw light coming from inside, so they're most likely still in business. Right, I'm calling it now. It's gonna be some rough inn with, like, pirates and all the lowlifes in it. Here, big bro. I'll I'm so ready. Map. I expect a pirate song if there's pirates in there. <laughs> Oh, Jamil excellent. says, hey Kylie, I just left a like. Thank you so much, Jamil. Greatly appreciated. If anything, you should go and introduce yourself. You're going to be their ruler. Ugh, mingling with peasants. 
<laughs> Gwendolyn. What exactly will this accomplish? A bond with your people. People that respect you and want to help you and stand by you. I don't know. All of the above. Stop being a prissy little biatch. Now, now, young lady. A king is nothing without his subjects. Any fool may claim a pile of rubble, but without people, you're just an empty title. See, Grandpa tyrant. D knows where it's at. D, bring in the facts. That's like a high five there to D. High five in the D. Yep, yeah, that sounds really wrong. I don't oh, care. my boy. One cannot rule in a vacuum. You need to be a person. Their person. Not just a face on the throne. You may obtain riches and inherit lands, but in the end, true wealth lies in the hearts and minds of your people. You are only as powerful as the respect you command. Never forget this. I won't forget, D. Respect of my people. Ah, at last! The Patriarch speaks my language. Duty! <laughs> service! Loyalty. Oh, God. We shall forge bonds everlasting. This, I swear. We shall forge bonds everlasting. Oh, I love it. I love his dedication. Griff is husbando. 100% husbando. I just love every time he talks. Everything that comes out of his mouth. I love it. Uh, yeah. What do you say? All right, I'm off to the inn. Griffith? At your side. At your side, forever and always, till my dying breath. Let's go then. John says, is this on the Nintendo Switch? No, it's not. I don't actually know if they plan on bringing it to the Switch. It's out on Steam today. This is release day. And then it's also coming to the PlayStation 4 and PS Vita later on. Hopefully they bring it to the Switch, though, because I think it would be a really cool addition to the Switch's library. An agreement is made Kay and Griff will handle any issues involving the adventuring away team while Gwen and Ellie will look deeper into the family's past and tackle day-to-day -day administration. First things first, however, it turns out someone's still living in the city's inn. boo doo 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 Thank you for leaving a like, Johnny. Johnny says, I'm here for around 85% of Kylie's live streams. Always leave a like, people. It helps Kylie out a great amount. Thank you so much, Johnny. It really does, honestly. Right, I haven't saved yet, so I really think I should save, just in case there is any <laughs> glitches or anything. No, I don't want to delete my save. Are you sure you want to overwrite it? Yes, yes, that's fine. So you can save at any time, guys, which is uh, pretty handy. The placeholder in. Your quests have been updated. You have unlocked a new codex entry. Let's have a look. Okay. I have no idea what this is. This all just looks like mumbo jumbo to me that I'm not interested in. <laughs> So this is a Griffith Codex entry. This is likely going to turn into one of the many favours that I will be unable to repay you, but if there's one thing that was never lacking between us, it's trust. And so, although we are split on the matter, I ask for exactly that, trust. I understand your concerns about the Kadwalan boy. Well, he's spirited, reckless and foolhardy. A boy like him should care about discipline first and sword play second, lest he loses his very head. You'd probably mutter that the world needs its clobber cobblers, even clobbers, <laughs> cobblers and stable hands too, and I'd probably nod, probably. But here, for the life of me, I can't just agree. It's not even a matter of honouring old loyalties or 
re reliving my own dumb youth. Yeah, reliving my own dumb youth. True, there is little to admire about him. His frail physique, bad reflexes, and shoddy stance. Yet, whenever I look upon him, I see the same flawless thing, spirit. The bright, vibrant light of life, unblemished by cynicism or defeat. Pure and fair, no matter how hard one gets knocked down. Fighting, like any skill, is about repetition and refinement. But this... This you cannot teach. Hell, I wish my own son would grow to be even half as resolute as young Griffith. Like I mentioned before, I have already decided to take the boy as my squire. All I'm asking for is to give him a chance, let him study under you for a couple of months and you'll see I wasn't wrong, Dunstan. So hang on a second. So uh, Griffith before was... Where does it say? Um... Frail, frail in physique, bad reflexes, and shoddy stance. So Griffith has actually become a badass from training underneath this Dunstan. So that's really interesting. We get background information about Griffith there. Then we've got a codex entry of the Long Winter. When the primordials left the known existence their world our world fell into status with the first son dead and no divine intelligence to restore order lavros entropy took deep root the moon rose high above the ravaged plains casting its cold heavy light on the abandoned creation a dark hungry hungering winter began soon everything became motionless covered in eternal ice and immortal snow in perfect stillness it is a well-known story, and although some question the existence of the primordials, with the methods and accounts available to us, we do know that the Fimbulverta? What? The long winter most certainly has happened. But how long did it last? How long is the immortality of snow or eternity of ice? Was it a decade or two, a century, or a dozen? That we do not know. However, what emerged from the winter was a brand new world, a clean slate for life to begin anew. The primal world, the land of the gods and monsters, was no more. One of the first races to thrive afterwards was mankind, the alleged descendants of Lysos, styling themselves as new masters of creation, a bold claim no doubt and utterly arrogant in nature but ultimately fitting, today has reached every corner of the known world from the dead west to the sands of Minwi? I have no idea how to say that but I'm going to take a drink now. Of children of Lavros, the lords and ladies of Elvenkind, history says little. Our history, at least nobody would dare to ask the elves themselves. So there is elves in this game, guys. Whereas man grew to be a creature of passion and change, elves became uncaring and unyielding, as incomprehensible to us as the concept of colour to the blind. An enigma we would never be able to solve, just like the sun shall never catch the moon. Fitting yet tragic, but we owe them so much for they are a face of creation we do not share. And through these incombat- incombat- bleh, incompatibilities there we go free reflection and repulsion we are able to truly define ourselves in the snows of finn bulveter i don't know if i'm saying that right may, man may have lost his divinity but found humanity and with humanity came the other the weird the fair folk mankind's personal boogeyman the terror lurking behind the darkness of our closed eyes the embodiment of everything we were not meant to know in the snows of Fim Bulvater, man found beauty, elves meanwhile found only man. Oh, that was a that was a mouthful, <laughs> lads. <laughs> Very interesting. Well hang on a second. I'm just gonna take a moment to go through all these tabs. So tutorial character sheets. Your character sheet displays detailed information about the chosen character. While certain attribute values may increase with experience levels, it is up to you to fill the gaps with proper customization. 
Pressing right on the mouse on a weapon and trinket slots allows you to swap a character's equipment. Although weapon types are strictly assigned to specific characters, trinkets are universal and can be equipped by anyone. Each character can be further mod modified by perks. These are shared between all your characters and can be unlocked through various in-game activities like personal bonds, diplomacy and so on. Pressing the right click on the mouse on an empty perk slot will open the perk selection menu. Each perk has a fixed equipment cost, representing the amount of perk slots it will take. More perk slots are gained with experience levels. A level up, in a level up increases the amount of available slots by one. Okay, you can change your weapons and trinkets here. This is your party level instead of individual level ups. Your party gains experience as a whole. So we're only at level 1 right now. Party level 1. Select a new item to equip into this slot. A character cannot equip more than a single copy of one item. So I can't do anything yet anyway. Inventory, we've got nothing. We've got 500 DLC. Is that the in-game currency is DLC? <laughs> Right, quest, here we go. Go to the inn. Apparently you're not entirely alone in this deserted hellhole. Visit the inn. Time to get cracking, slowly. It's true that Ascalia needs you, but first things first. And then, yeah, uh, so... So we've got two tabs here, regular quests and kingdom quests as well. Personal bonds, here we go. This is the persona side of things, I'm guessing, and the d diplomacy that we briefly read about a moment ago. Spending your time with characters. Each character has days when you can pursue their personal bond stories. This is indicated by an exclamation mark over their heads. By gaining relationship points, RP, and advancing in personal bond levels, you unlock unique benefits related to the character in question. The most common way of gaining RP is through spending time with characters. To do so, choose the Spend Time option from a character's conversation menu. Whenever you have enough points to advance to a next personal bond level, a unique storyline cutscene will trigger. During these cutscenes, you'll be able to influence Kay's choices, possibly gaining extra RP in the process. Ooh, this sounds so exciting, guys. So that's the Persona side of things there. So acquaintance, buddy, friend, confidant, and admirer. Wow, so we actually get skills from it. So let's have a look at the skills that we do get, guys. Pinpoint strike now cannot miss or be dodged. However, it no longer applies sundered. Then we've got this. Opponents defeated under the effects of boisterous challenge refresh griffs cooldowns and then we've got uh, plus four percent dodge we've got crescent strike now pushes all targets back one tile and spawns an impassable blade barrier in the area of effect the blade barrier lasts for one turn that's pretty useful in biding some time though um then we've got dynamic entry has its maximum range increased by two We've got Finishing Touch, now has its cooldown period reduced by 1, and plus 6% dodge as well. So let's go over here. Tutorial Town Information. This screen displays your list of all constructible buildings and your current resource pool. One thing, these resources are used both for construction and crafting items, so be smart about spending them, okay? Construction of new buildings can be ordered through selecting an appropriate option in your castle. After being constructed, each building can be upgraded to higher levels, which is often an important requirement to progress in a character's personal bond. Okay, so here we go. This is the building's current level. A zero means it is yet to be constructed. Press right on the mouse on this icon to see the building's construction and upgrade costs. Right, so I actually don't have what I need, basically. <laughs> Which is no surprise, we've only just started the game. Diplomacy. Tutorial. Diplomacy. This is the... the, 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 the. 
<laughs> this is the diplomacy screen. Here you can track your reputation with the neighbouring nations. Like with personal bonds, increasing your reputation will unlock unique faction benefits such as perks, faction reinforcements and even party members. Okay, so... I have no idea. This is the different factions here. Oh, there we go! That's... This is the group where that armor fits in with. Praise the sun! <laughs> These look like dwarves. I think these might be elves. I don't know. They've got the pointy ears. And we've got new characters as well. Look at this. Like. Right, okay. Interesting. Well. I don't want to go through all this just yet, but. This game is pretty intriguing so far, I'd say. But anyway guys, I am going to save this now. And I'm actually going to go ahead and stop this stream guys because I need to have a rest and I'm streaming this again at 7 so in about 2 hours and 25 minutes time so if you do want to see more of this then make sure you're supporting the next stream with likes and comments or turning up to the live event itself and obviously after this part one and part two I will be considering if it's worth continuing on the channel or not so make sure you express your thoughts and opinions in the comments section when the video goes up on YouTube if you enjoyed your time here today, then don't forget to join Team GGK by hitting the subscribe button. And if you do, click the bell and tick the box to turn on notifications for my channel. That way you won't miss any video uploads or live streams moving forward. And also, if you follow me on Twitter, link in the video description or view my public tweets. You can stay fully in the loop about live streams, my personal life, technical issues, whatever it may be. I'm losing my voice, I need another drink. But it's a really good way to stay in the loop with my channel, guys. And also, do not forget, the adpocalypse is still very real. It's still a huge threat. So if you do want to support me creating content here on YouTube, consider my Patreon account or my stream tip. And there's links down below in the video description to both of those. Patreon is a monthly support option with various rewards and benefits, including Patreon exclusive giveaways and insider information about the channel for as little as $5 a month. And obviously Stream Tip is a one-off donation option. You can donate as little or as much as you like. And I do actually have a Stream Tip leaderboard now, so you can actually see who is top the top supporter of my channel. But anyway guys, thank you for watching this. Hope to see you on part two. Take it easy and I shall see you next time guys.